Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, and I hope the uh, sound comes across well uh, through this uh, through this video. For some reason, I don't I don't like the quality of this uh, headset that I'm using, and I haven't had a chance to pick up another one. And for right now, uh, this will have to do. Um, but I'm really excited today to be able to share another message with you. Uh, some information has been sent to me. This is just, it's getting so deep, everybody. This is uh, amazing information that is linking us to really the beginning of December, before the middle of December, between the December 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. We've got a, you know, four or five day window just all the signs are coming together. Uh, I've shared a lot of information on my page. Uh, starting a week ago, the complete case for rapture on December 12th. From there, uh, we've added information about the 21 days of Daniel, added information about Obama being in Malaysia, added information about the number 12 cubed 12 times 12 times 12 leading back to the sackcloth sun, 12, uh, 1,728 days to the sackcloth sun um, in the middle of the Tetrad. Feast of Christ the King is December 11th. The liberation of Jerusalem was December 11th. Uh, Adolf Hitler declared war on the United States December 11, 1941. Then we've got the Trump probe report and hearing coming out December 9th and 11th. And now we're watching uh, the interstellar comet 2I Borisov that has its perihelion event on December 8th. When I go back to this uh, document, the complete case for rapture on December uh, 12th, I have 25 reasons. Uh, listed there. So if we add to that the 21 days of Daniel, that's 26. Obama in Malaysia, it's 27. The sackcloth sun connection is uh, 28. Uh, we've got the Feast of Christ the King, that's 29. Liberation of Jerusalem, that's 30. Connection to World War II, that's 31. Trump Pro, that's 32. And now we've got this, this is 33 signs. So the signs are are coming and what I'm going to share today is an addition, an additional sign connected to interstellar comet 2i Borisov and I think you're really going to enjoy this piece of information that I'm going to share with you. If I click on this, uh, if I click on this uh, uh, link here and I go down I want to share with you a comment that was sent to me and as I investigated this I found some amazing information. Okay, the Borisov Comet is the name of the comet that impregnated Virgo in 2016. I don't know if it's the same because I hear there is more than one. But watch the video called the Conception Comet and listen closely to the guy in the video. It should be the first video at the top when you search for the Conception Comet. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you, my brother. So I went and I did some investigating on the Conception Comet. For those of you who uh, have been following the signs in the heavens and have been watching for a long time, well, that was 2016, just as Jupiter was entering Virgo on November 16th, uh, 2016, there was a Conception Comet or a comet that went through Virgo exactly as Jupiter was entering Virgo. And so they had a, uh, they did a, uh, a video on that called Revelation 12 Virgo Inseminated Conception Comet. Okay. Now there's another, there's another comment that was sent to me. About... The name of the second comet, this, the other comet that we're watching is Oumuamua. And I wanted to share this with you. Hawaiian Oumuamua means scout. Means to reach out for, 
And moi, moi, we duplicated for emphasis, meaning first, in advance of. And so this, uh, the, the interpretation given to that is that it, it reflects the way this object is like a scout or messenger just sent from the distant past to uh, reach out to humanity. It was uh, moi, moi is meaning in, in advance of. It's a scout to scout out or to send a, a, a message, to scout or message uh, ahead of, okay, and that uh, Wawa was 2017. So before I moved on to this, uh, to this information, I wanted to share that also with you. So I've, I'm looking at connections between uh, Comet Borisov, because we're watching Interstellar Comet 2i Borisov, has its perihelion on December 8, 2019. And the Revelation 12 uh, comet was also Comet Borisov. Now, here's the reason for this. This Comet uh, Borisov, 2017 E1 Borisov, is the comet that was found. It's connected to this video. Okay, If you go to Revelation 12. I'll leave all these links for you in the description box so you can look into this. Newly discovered comet by Gennady Borisov. Borisov. Okay. And this is the reason why we have duplication on the, the name Borisov on the comets because it's the same guy. The same guy. And so the Conception Comet was found by Gennady Vladimirovich. Vladimirovich. Shenadiv Vladimirovich, right? That's how you say it, okay? So, this is the Conception Comet. This is the comet connected to this video that was, that went through Jupiter, that went through Virgo, as Jupiter was entering Virgo on November 16th, 2016. The Conception Comet. This is the, the comet that went through Virgo as the Revelation 12 sign was beginning. Okay? So, the interesting thing about this is that the, the new comet, okay, it, it, if we go into, okay, here's, the, here's this connection by Forbes magazine. Sorry about all those background uh, noises. Uh, it really bothers me here in my town. These these cars come by with all these announcing videos and recordings and it's really hard to do good quality videos here. I need a sound booth but it's getting late for that. So anyway, um, this, uh, this, uh, this magazine or this article by Forbes connects the two interstellar visitors. It says goodbye Omwamwa, hello Borisov. And it, it, this this article talks about the two different article the two different comets, how they're connected because they're the two interstellar visitors that have come into our galaxy. Okay. From from another galaxy. Well, anyway, so there, I you know I'm not the only one connecting the two these two uh, objects. Forbes connects Oumuamua and Borisov. And then we were watching Oumuamua, that it was uh, had its perihelion event on September 9th, 2017. Okay. But then if we look at the, uh, the September 9th, remember, was the day that Jupiter was leaving Virgo. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to show you here is that between the Conception Comet Borisov, which was uh, in Virgo on November 16, 2016, we had one comet connected to the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign. We had the second comet, Oumuamua, which was uh, at its perihelion event on September 9th, 2017, which was the day Jupiter uh, left Virgo. Okay. 
And now we've got 2i Borisov that is coming on December 8th, 2019. Now here's what I wanted to show you also to confirm with you. If we go to Wikipedia, Gennady Borisov, we can see down here on the right comets discovered by Gennady Borisov. Okay. And we see that he has found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right now, okay, we, we saw that the 2017 E1 Borisov was the conception comet. And the, and the one that's coming in now on December 8th is also Borisov. Why is it? Why are they both named Borisov? Because they're both discovered by the same guy. So this this is the same guy. The comet that's coming in on December eighth was was found by the same guy that found the conception comet, and I find that amazing. Now someone wrote to me and said that uh, maybe we can look this up here. Uh, the name Boris. So if we look up the name Boris we'll see that the name is derived from several Turkic words as Bori meaning wolf or from Bagori which means short as well as the word Boris i.e. snow leopard through the nickname Bob. The name is often linked with the name Robert an ancient German Germanic name meaning fame bright. So Boris we have connected to the name wolf or to the word wolf or snow leopard. Here, let me uh, look something up for you. Okay, remember the name Boris means wolf and leopard. Let's read together Jeremiah 5 verses 1 through 6. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now, and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If you can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish. For they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. I will get, unto, get me unto the great men and speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them. And the wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goeth out hence, thence shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. This is amazing right here, this passage here. Talking about those that have gone astray that even though they say the Lord liveth, they swear falsely. Jeremiah thinks that these are the poor people who have not any idea of their God, but he is talking about the great men of Israel, the great men of the people of God that have altogether broken the yoke, they have burst their bonds, and what is the punishment? The punishment is a lion out of the forest shall slay them, a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them, a leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. So what is God going to do to bring destruction upon Israel? What is God going to do to bring uh, punishment? He's going to send a wolf and a leopard. He's going to send Boris. He's going to send Borisov. Borisov, a wolf and a leopard. This is an amazing piece of information right here. 
I actually had already finished this video and the last half of the video did not come through. So now as I'm redoing the video, this uh, inspiration came to me to look this up in the scripture. Wolf and leopard. Of course, if we go into the word leopard, we'll see that it is also I don't know why. Uh oh, I have to get some service done here. Leopard. Okay, I'm gonna have to get service done on my keyboard here. Um. Anyway, if we look up the word leopard. Oh, I didn't even see that. Also, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall not lie down with the kid. Again, the leopard is connected to the wolf in more than one place. Jeremiah 13, 23, it says, Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? And then in Daniel 7, 6, it says, After this I beheld, and lo, another, like a leopard. Okay, the Antichrist is like a leopard and it says in Revelation 13 2 it says and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard okay it was like unto a leopard Boris means leopard okay so here is the uh, if I want to close this out for you and uh, give you all the connections we have Comet C2017 E1 Borisov, which was the Conception Comet, in Virgo on November 16, 2016. That is the beginning moment of the Revelation 12 sign when Jupiter was entering Virgo. It's day 1,335 from the abomination of desolation when Barack Obama was in Israel signing the Unbreakable Alliance. March 22nd, 2013, plus 1,335 days. I was watching this day. This is a document that I did. This is my picture that I created on November 17th. Huge watch day as the Revelation 12 sign was going to be beginning on day 1,335 from the day that Barack Obama was in Israel. Okay. So the Conception Comet found by Borisov was November 16th, 2016, as the Revelation 12 sign was beginning. The second comet, interstellar comet, Oumuamua, was September 9, 2017, perihelion event, and this was exactly as Jupiter was leaving Virgo, another comet. And Comet 2i Borisov on December 8th, 2019, found by the same guy that found the Conception Comet. Okay. So, all of this information with all of this con these connections to December 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, I mean, if you go back and look at the, he the complete case for rapture on December 12th, 25 reasons plus, and all of these, these reasons are major reasons. I mean, we're not talking about non-insignificant reasons. We're talking about the seven-year anniversary of my sign, 6,666 days from 9-11. We're talking about the 70 years of Israel to the day from them moving their, their government to Jerusalem on December 13, 1949. 70 years to the day. Israel's government in Jerusalem, December 12, 2019 connected to the Holocaust, connected to Lebensborn Project for a Pure Race, 
Paris Climate Agreement was December 12th. The Kyoto Climate Agreement was December 11th. I mean, another reason why, which is not even included in all of these, I hadn't even documented that one, the Kyoto Agreement for Climate Change was December 11th. And December 12th is a full moon. And according to Proverbs 7.20 and Psalm 81.3, full moon is the appointed day. Okay. I've got literally more than 30 signs, almost 35 different signs so far leading to December 11th, 12th, 13th. And we have Comet Borisov coming in, the wolf and the leopard. Confirmed by three comets, all within the biblical time frame of the Revelation 12 sign. Is this the end? Could be the end, guys. It could be the end. And all I'm doing right now is showing you what I see. I can't make a final declaration. This is absolutely the end. It could be the end. Be ready. Be prepared. Jesus is coming any moment, any day. We could be looking at December 8th, December 9th, December 10th, 11th, 12th, or 13th. <laughs> okay. No man knows the day or the hour. Okay, well, God's given us a five-day window, folks. And it could be this is, this is the time frame. And all I can do with you, you know, is share what I see. So I, I hope this helps. I hope you're blessed by this. And uh, continue leaving your comments and uh, in the description box. And if you believe uh, flat earth, uh, just get get off of it because uh, I don't uh, I don't allow flat earth comments on my uh, page. Okay, because the easiest thing to do would be to find the edge of the earth if the, if the earth was flat and it's not. Okay, there's no one's no one can find the edge of the earth. I mean, we're living in the age of technology and the age of advancements. No one can find the edge. Are you ridiculous? I mean, use your, use your brain, guys, okay? I, I don't want to be offensive to anybody. I know this is a very serious subject for a lot of people. But I do not believe flat earth, and I delete all flat earth comments. So you might want to just keep your comments to yourself. So I pray you guys are blessed. I just say that because every time I talk about interstellar objects or comets or falling stars or signs in the heavens, we live on a flat Earth. How can there be a comet coming in from another galaxy? Okay, well, sorry. You know, I, I, I teach the truth of what we, we, we see, not only in our world, but in our universe. And, you know, God's not enclosed to a, to a dome. He created an infinite universe because he created, his creation is like himself. He's infinite. Okay. God is infinite. Is a dome uh, infinite? No. Is, is a dome like God? No. God created his creation like himself. He is infinite. His creation is infinite. There is no end to the universe. Okay. So, all right, guys. I, thanks. Uh, I'm glad I had the opportunity just to say that because uh, I wanted to get that off my chest. I pray you all blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. The sign of his coming revealed.